My name is Judea Murray, and here on A Positive Note, we highlight the most heartwarming stories from all around our tri-state that move and inspire us. For some, it's been a really long time since they've had any sort of human contact. I haven't been able to hug my own mother in months. Well, one mom in Haskell, New Jersey, just created a unique way to get us hugging again. We just uh, used Gorilla Tape basically everywhere. Um, it's called the Hug Wall and Melissa Molnar created it. It's made of shower curtains with arm grooves and it's allowed her and her children to reconnect with the grandparents they haven't embraced since March. It's been so hard um, for everybody in the world. And it's just, it was refreshing to be able to hug my parents and see their reaction and see my children's reaction who have been asking for months when this is gonna be over. <laughs> Melissa called this the best day of COVID. Head to Marlboro in New Jersey, and a pair of twins are also getting creative during quarantine. Ben and Zach Schneider created what they call spine ice, an ice pack with fabric that molds to your back and, according to them, stays frozen longer than your average ice pack. The boys say they were thinking of their father when they were designing their invention. They wanted to help with his lower back pain. He would use two techniques to remedy the problem, which is a rolled towel and an ice pack. The problem with the ice pack is that it would only stay frozen for 20 minutes, which is not good on long trips. So we developed spine ice, which stays frozen up to five hours. The next step is to manufacture and distribute spine ice, and the Dynamic Duos already raised more than $3,400 on Kickstarter to do so. Their goal is 36 by August 9th. I think they can do it. While the twins are helping aching backs, this new dating app is mending aching hearts, and a 29-year-old based in New York City is behind it. Move over Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge. There's a new app called Filter Off that's designed to help you meet new people in a socially distant way. The app lets you set up a video date all from your phone, and it's free. Well, we've really created a new paradigm of video first. Because it's, it basically takes out all the work, because you don't have to swipe anymore. Now, don't worry, both parties have to consent to the video date before it starts. You just might find your Romeo or Juliet with a phone call. And maybe you're not looking for romance right now. Well, there's something for that, too. We just noticed that so many people were lonely and isolated. And that sense of isolation brought on by the coronavirus pandemic. Wanting to help, Chappaqua resident Sam Brickman and two other computer science classmates at Cornell University developed Quarantine Buddy. It is a virtual way to make friends while stuck at home. So many of the people we spoke to and what we've seen all of our users tell us is they literally just want something where they can go on to meet new people just to talk to or just to have a new friend. To start meeting new buddies and checking out virtual events, you first have to sign up on the Quarantine Buddy website. You go to the website and you fill out some basic information, age and gender, as well as what you're looking for in a buddy. And then we match you with your optimal buddy and introduce you to each other so that you can connect and kind of grow and, and learn from each other. Back in April, Governor Cuomo gave the website a shout out in a coronavirus deep breath moment email update. That's when these Cornell students knew they were onto something. For us, that's when we realized, wow, we really have the ability to make an impact here. Plans are now in the works for a Quarantine Buddy app. So far, Quarantine Buddy has about 30,000 users from 120 different countries. Hey, we all need somebody to lean on. And just so you know, it's not just the older residents helping out around our region. Two kids, both eight years old, doing amazing work to pitch in any way they can. First up, Jameson Green doing Jersey Proud with his t-shirt that says, I want to unite the world. Green says he wishes people could get along regardless of what they believe in or look like. The shirt, rainbow for gay pride and black and brown for Black Lives Matter. Well, Green designed the tee, but it was his community that brought it to life. Thanks to Paint the Tea and Red Bank, the shirts are available for sale and have already brought in $400. All that money to a charity is better than, is a better dessert than ice cream. 
That's right, Jameson. The proceeds of this Unity Tea are going to help the Southern Poverty Law Center continue its fight for equal justice. Next up, eight-year-old Mackenzie of Long Island. She's making hundreds and hundreds of sandwiches with her special ingredient, love. Let's take a look. I actually do like sandwiches in general, so I think maybe they might like it. It's a good thing that eight-year-old Mackenzie Weiss of Belmore likes to make sandwiches too. Okay, you ready? Do you want to make the next one? Because she and her mother Meredith have made 800 of them for the hungry and homeless right here on Long Island. I want people to know that it's a very important thing for everybody to have food and you should be grateful that you have food every day and you have a home. She's only eight years old, but somehow Mackenzie realized that there is a great need for food since COVID-19 left many Long Islanders jobless. Even before COVID, her mom tells us that they would visit New York City and Mackenzie couldn't just simply walk by the homeless without feeling compelled to help. I'm very proud of Mackenzie because she has a big heart and she feels things and I think that she's very special and the world is a better place because she's here. So they got involved in the nonprofit that feeds the hungry called One Sandwich at a Time. It's a simple idea of buying ingredients and constructing sandwiches with gloves and masks on, of course, and then delivering them to food pantries or homeless shelters. Mackenzie and her mom didn't have to go far to fight hunger. Two towns away in Freeport, there was a big need. It's nice to make them, and it's a very kind thing to do. She pats each sandwich with her hand, sending it off with some love, feeding the needy in her community with her two hands, one sandwich at a time. You know what that sound means. It's time for a feel-good fact. A family driving along a highway in Florida pulled over on the shoulder after experiencing a tire blowout and you won't believe who came to their rescue. The man you see walking up is none other than NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal. He saw what happened and stopped to help the family. And not only that, but he stayed with them until deputies arrived on the scene. This footage is actually from one of their dash cams. What are the odds? And you know Shaq's from New York, New Jersey, right? Yep, this hero hails from our tri-state region, and that, ladies and gentlemen, was your feel-good fact. <laughs> Speaking of luck, three teensy-weensy little kittens fell into a bit of their own streak after being discovered abandoned at a post office. The three abandoned kittens were only a week old when they were found in a Kelvin Klein shoebox at the post office on Locust Avenue. The Pet Animal Welfare Society, also known as PAWS, says they received a grant from the H3 Foundation to help take care of the kittens. So it looks like these little guys just got a new lease on life. Well, the great debate right now is whether our babies will be learning in the classroom or a class Zoom this fall. And while the focus is on education, Lily Stolzberg is putting us on the spot to test our food knowledge. How much do you know about what you're putting in your body? Do you know where peanuts grow? Or do you know what SPAM stands for? Well, it's time to test your food knowledge. If anybody knows anything about food, it's you, right? I would say so, yes. I have a lot of faith in you right now. Why is wild salmon pink? Uh, are they like, maybe they're like flamingos where their diet determines what color they'll be. Because it eats krill. It eats a specific type of small shrimp that gives it its pink color. Krill, yes. Yeah. I was gonna accept shrimp, but you went with the krill. Because it's krill. <laughs> What is spam short for? What does it stand for? Uh, Somehow processed, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it tastes good. <laughs> Sometimes the less you know, the better. I know spam came out around World War II and... Why do you know that? Oh, I know, I, it's an abbreviation or something. I can't get it off the top of my head right now. I'll give you the first thing. It's spiced something. Spam. Spiced. Spiced pork. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's another uh, word? Spiced pig. It's two words together. Spice and something else. Sp Spiced ham. 
But is it ham? It's good. Is it really ham? It's scary, I think. Have you ever tried it? No, never. <laughs> yeah, missing out. I don't think I've ever had spam. No. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm okay with that. <laughs>